Hello, my name is Mike and this is the home of Guns and Horsepower. Thanks for joining me for today's video where I attempt to put on PPF on my aluminum door sills on the Porsche Panamera. Uh, basically with these door sills, they're brushed aluminum. I'll zoom in here real quick. With the words Panamera S. Uh, it doesn't take much to scratch them up, so every time people get in and out of the car, I always have to tell them, um, hey, remember, pick up your feet, don't drag it across here. So one of these days I'm going to forget, or someone's going to, you know, forget, and uh, I don't want them to get damaged and have it look all crappy. So I'm going to attempt to put uh, PPF on there. I got this uh, kit, it's a 3M, got it from Amazon. It's uh, basically distributed by Vivid, they just cut it into these certain uh, size pieces and sell it in a little kit with uh, squeegee. So I went on uh, 3M's website and got the instructions on how to uh, apply it and how to mix the solutions. So you have a um, your slip solution, which uh, they, everyone recommends you use uh, Johnson's baby shampoo with uh, DI water. And then you have your uh, tack solution, which is 70% uh, rub isopropyl rubbing alcohol with DI water. Um, I went ahead and made a little bit of a template. Um, I wanted to kind of cut the uh, PPF down a little bit closer to size. So I took a piece of paper um, and then pressed it with my fingernails like so into the seam and made an imprint so I knew where it was. I left some extra material on the sides here so I'll be able to stretch the film, have something to hold on to. Hopefully I can keep uh, trimming down to a minimum. I don't want to do a whole bunch of um, razor blade work around this aluminum and plastic. And I guess we'll go ahead and give it a try. I've never done this before. I honestly don't expect it to work. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to give it a try. I don't like the idea of spraying water in the interior of the car. So I went ahead and um, put some towels around. I don't want to do too much. They say it's not a big deal, but I don't want it to go into these little creases here. So let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, we got it down. I guess now attempting to squeegee out the excess and I have way too much I can tell you already material but we'll have to go ahead and trim it yeah it's gonna be hard to get air bubbles out of these letters I can already tell that it's hard to push the water out Not too bad. I got it out. It's actually basically bubble free except for the letters. That's going to be very difficult. I'm sorry, blocking you there. And I've seen people lay this down on the interior. Nobody seems too concerned about getting water into the creases. But yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get it out of here. I might have to cut little slits maybe but other than that the rest of the PPF went on pretty smooth a couple air bubbles here I think it's me working these things out maybe that's just all I'll have to do let me see I don't know you put a little slippy on top Yeah, it's going to be difficult because you're going to have air bubbles stuck in there. I was figuring that would be a problem. Because I can get the air bubbles out everywhere else. So right here it's not sticking. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the tack solution. That alcohol solution is supposed to make it stick down better. I just think I have way too much liquid in there, period. 
That's what I was worried about. I don't like putting water in the interior. I don't know if this was a good idea or not. Yeah, it does not want to stick down, that's for sure. At least in that corner. I feel like maybe I can push some of the air out. Something stuck under the PPF there. pretty good so what I'm gonna attempt to do is I have this tiny little razor blade here get it to focus and I'm gonna try to poke see if I can zoom in a little more you can kind of tell there's a difference in color there so I'm gonna try to maybe poke a little slit in the PPF just a little hole Maybe I can work some of those bubbles out. No. I feel like I can push it and try to get it out of there. That's going to be very difficult. I don't want to scratch the PPF. I'm trying to work the bubbles out of the lettering. I got a little bit out there. But there's water and air trapped in the letters here between the PPF and the I think it would be easier to do if they were raised up instead of imprinted, but yeah, that's going to be difficult. I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess just see how it kind of looks but I think I might just go ahead and pull this up so let me get in here well, I'm not happy with how this is looking it's definitely not difficult to put the PPF down if you had a nice smooth surface but these raised letters just kind of made the job impossible I almost need to have them cut out and go around it that would have worked just fine but uh, as this is this is not going to work it's got water trapped in there and uh, it looks kind of crappy. So I guess to go ahead and call this a fail. Um, all right. <laughs> well, I tried. Seemed like a good idea, but I had a feeling those letters were going to be difficult. Um, like I said, if I could cut them out, but that's very hard to do. I'd have to have a custom piece. Because there's no way I can get the air bubbles out of those letters, and there's no way I can work it out. There's too many of them. Plus, I don't like the idea of getting water down in these cracks here. Like down in here, you know, around here. Um, letting the PPF dry. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of water in there. I don't know. Not a good idea. No, oh, well, well, I tried wasn't too much of an investment. I think I picked this PPF kit up for like $17 on Amazon, so it's worth a shot. I have some more left. There's some pieces around um, the bottom here, like around the, the wheel wells that I might put some on. So it's not going to go to waste, but at least I'll use it. But uh, at least for this idea to protect these expensive aluminum door sills, it was a total fail. All right. Well, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you were thinking of doing it yourself, maybe you have another uh, better idea, or if you've done this, uh, please let me know. I'm not afraid to give it another shot, but uh, other, than, other than having the letters cut out and a custom piece made that I can lay over, I don't see how it's going to work. I can't get the water and the bubbles out. All right, well, I hope you found this video uh, useful and informative. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, please browse the channel, and don't forget to subscribe.